Although farming is a broad venture, handling of chemicals is inevitable due to pests and diseases that attack crops. Health experts, environmentalists and local leaders are warning farmers against incorrect handling and usage of pesticides. This was at the UNICO Farmers Conference in Palisa District. Uganda National Association of Community and Occupational Health is currently implementing a pesticide use health and environment PHE project in Palisa and Wakiso districts. The initiative creates awareness among farmers on handling and application of agrochemicals and pesticides. But then also in this class of learning, you mean, uh, it's been more like an interaction whereby people have been sharing experiences. You have a tomato farmer saying, ah, I sprayed with the rocket, it mounted, burnt all my bag. Someone even goes in front and shows scars of how the chemical burnt food. So these big people have become so, so, so much cautious. <laughs> Dr. John Sempewa of Makerere University School of Public Health warns that if not handled and used carefully, agrochemicals may be hazardous. Exposure to pesticides, especially when, um, when mothers are pregnant or when the kids are still growing, that exposure also uh, makes the individual who has been exposed in that, at, at that tender age to react in the same way that in, in a way that leads to domestic violence. It is evident in the land and things like early maturity of early pest development in girls and also early commencement of menstrual figures uh, within the girl uh, child. The glaring is not handled in the state. By eliminating is by eliminating, and the easiest way is by accessing the what the pesticides because they are everywhere being sold. So somebody goes to buy, like he's going to to use it for spray, and yet he's going to use it for killing a friend. They can affect you in many ways. One, they can affect you on the skin and cause skin reactions and even some diseases of the skin. You could inhale them and they can affect you through the inhalation. But the most dangerous of them all is probably if you take them orally, imbibing, either accidentally or with the purpose of wanting to terminate your life. It is very dangerous indeed. We need to educate the populace about these chemicals. They should be told how to handle them. And some of the unwanted effects of this is making them, uh, making them available to places where children reach. We should make sure that people are educated that these chemicals should be kept away from children as much as possible. Pest and disease management continues to be a challenge to farmers, but improper handling of agrochemicals could be blamed on fewer agricultural extension workers. The problem is not only about pesticides, it's about all commodities. Because in this competitive world, there are people who are out there to try and cheat others. And they produce counterfeits, they give no value for money.
for us at the Agency for Transformation, as people who are keen on environment, would want farmers to use herbicides, would want farmers to use herbicides and pesticides that don't distort, that don't distort the, 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 the environment. And um, this is why farmers need information to know what kind of pesticides are very disastrous for our food system and the food chain. What pesticides are not good for us? What pesticides do constitute minerals or do constitute um, nutrients for us? So that discernment and that distinction must be made. And, and uh, this is why we are saying that... Uh, this As you've heard from various stakeholders in the agricultural chain, agrochemicals and pesticides can be hazardous to your health and therefore, it is advisable to take the necessary precautions when handling and using them. For Business Week, I'm Dennis Segovia.